working with Hit Boy. And I'm thinking that's like a marriage between two generations that kind of like Hit Boy can kind of tap into who Nas is as an artist. Artists can tap into Hit Boy for who he is as an artist. And he put out some solid product. Is mm -hmm. it, will it ever be like pop record status, like a Drake album? Probably not. But I, I was going to ask you, like, in the absence of like, who was like the the biggest marketed artist in the last 20 years yeah so since 2002 to now do you see the game moving in a more uh uh creative direction or is it going to continue to be more contrived because i think that 21 Savage and drake album is because it was pretty dope to me i, I can't in front i listen to i listen to king's disease three i listen to uh that the, uh her loss and i'm they all, both albums are pretty dope, but I'm I'm hearing the I'm hearing the the manufactured nature of both of them, and I'm like, dude, this is, and I'm not dick riding no shit like that, but this is what this is what this is why we needed somebody like a Kanye or a Lupe Fiasco to actually exist in the game, somebody who could be more eclectic in their in their ear and, ha and kind of like create the void. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put create, the walls up. Keep the walls up. I mean, put some distance between you know what i'm saying like if, if it, there was more variety when we was younger mm -hmm. music, you know what i'm saying you had you could listen to snoop and red man all in the same year you know what i'm saying yeah, and it was a, it was an obvious difference in vibe because think about it like this red man red man sampled from the same shit dr dre sampled from mm -hmm. you know what but, I'm saying? But. from the same shit dr dre sampled from you got two different outcomes who, there it is. It was the, the music didn't sound the same. Exactly. The music didn't oh. sound the same. Even though Eric Sermon, EPMD, they were doing funk music too. It wasn't it it yeah. wasn't the same shit. They had that West Coast bounce to it. It was it was some East Coast boom bap. Yeah. Underneath that funk. You don't see people taking those types of I would even venture to say this because they were sampling from records that was just 20 years old at the time. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, 92, they were sampling for records that was out in 82. No, fucking 70s. 70s. They were going to the 70s, bro. So they, if they're sampling from the 70s, I, I don't see nothing wrong with them sampling from anything that came out in the 90s and the early 2000s at this point right now because it's the same difference. However, the outcomes are always coming out to be contrived. It's the same outcomes. It's manufactured as fuck. Uh, when, I'm, when I'm hearing them sample, it's not even like they're, they're trying. No, it's just they, they find a loop. Yeah, like Loop. no. <laughs> Say it one more time. Loop and some trap drums. Yeah, and so so when I'm I'm he when I'm hearing it, I'm hearing the loop with the trap drums, but I'm not hearing anything chopped up, you know, broken down. There's no bridge to anything. It's like yo, you guys aren't you guys aren't building beats anymore. Like you're just looping everything. They're not even constructing songs anymore. It's like I'm just gonna drop these these bars. I'm gonna make a two minute song. Two minutes is a long time now because every everybody's attention span is limited. And now they're trying to get it down to 40 seconds. Now, if you're doing the TikToks and the IG reels, like they're really just trying to get you down to 40 seconds. Yep. And I think like the real creatives are the ones that are actually still just producing, you know what I'm saying? Solid projects. Solid projects. Yeah. We lacking, man. It's like I, I I don't really get off into the whole mainstream aspect of it. I've already checked out in that area been checked out but i do know that a lot of i mean it's kind of it's sad to see it go that way but i just was wondering like do you see any turnaround with the with the absence of like the 50s kanye's the lupe's the ones who kind of like aren't they're just not active no more the ones who actually make the difference in what the sound what the sound of the culture was at the time it's not they're not they don't even exist in the genre no more dude uh -huh. no one's even paid attention to the fact well people have but Snoop put out an album, what, two, three weeks ago. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, there are guys who have actually put out albums and no right. one's really checking for that. Say what? Rhymes just dropped an EP. Busta Rhymes? Yep. Wow. So a lot, not a lot of people know this, but when you're listening to, to the music, you're not hearing, I, I guess we call them the outliers. You're not hearing the the... the you're not hearing the papooses in this right now. You're not hearing the Lupe fiascos to kind of create the lanes like, yo, that goes over there, this goes over here, and this and this, so we can differentiate that. It seems like everything is just becoming one big 
one big smoothie of, of, of bullshit to drink and it's it's not really gonna help i don't think it's gonna help the culture but maybe it's needed you know help cleanse itself yeah yeah maybe maybe that's what it is maybe in, in was what, what do you call it? weak times call from call for strong uh i forgot what's called weak, weak times call for strong weak weak times call for strong men so maybe as the music just weakens and everything it'll it'll produce a result where the more aggressive or the more mature music will will start to come back because we're fading to a point now where the music isn't as as strong as it used to be uh, i'm not hearing uh, i didn't hear the project but with 21 savage and 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 drake on it um i i didn't know how good it was i did hear king's disease king's disease was okay the third one i like i like the first two better than that uh but when i'm when i'm hearing it's very hard for me to listen to the the trap beats and the drill beats because even with the samples that they're using it's, it's all just sounds so mm -hmm. yeah just so repetitive it's just like just re re the repetition of someone doing the same thing over and over again at least when we talked about like you already spoke on we had dj premier we had manny fresh we had scarface we had outcast and the dungeon family then you had dr dre you had dj quick you had uh what's my man from uh dog pound yeah. you had das right you had all these different right. all these different you had no id you had you had uh Dilla. Yeah. yeah, you had digging in the crates. You know what I'm saying? Diamond. Yeah, TC, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, I think you had all these different things where it wasn't they were doing some of the same shit, but they were all doing it their way because they wanted to make sure that they kept some originality and they kept their own sound and their own signature. And you're not hearing that. There's no signature now. And there it's like I noticed too, because there's like this whole this this big thing going on. I guess it was. Just 